Hey guys, what's up? This is the 51 cents, and I'm here with a little Cinema 4D tip or a tutorial, whatever you want to call it. But uh, um, this is like my first one, and I haven't learned too much on Cinema 4D yet. But what I have learned, I want to show you guys, and I'm not likely gonna make too many Cinema 4D videos. But well, I mean, if you want to, I could try to make some more videos. But uh, let's get started. So uh. This is the chrome effect on this text, and um, it's basically just quite simple. And all I'm gonna do is go over everything. So this is, whoops, my bad. All right, this is how it looks when it's rendered and everything. That's what I just showed you, and uh, this is the text right here. So um, if you've never used Cinema 4D yet, um, you could probably check out some other tutorials. I'll probably put some links in the description. And um, so, this is the material editor. You get up to it when uh, when you make a new material. You just double click in this material section. You have the material. You double click that, and you have this. So I'm just gonna quickly go over each and everything I used in here. So for color, I used around a little light gray around there. And then I use a texture of Fresno. And then for this, I changed this by putting a, a black at around 25% and a white at around 50, um, 75%. Then, um, whoops. Then, um, I changed the mix strength to around 50%. And that's it for this. Then for luminance, I did the same thing. It's around a, a slightly darker gray than before. Same thing with Fresno. Uh, same type of thing. And the mix strength is at 100%. Next, I put to transparency. I put a almost completely black gray. Then, um, so just everything's exactly the way it was default, except the color. Reflection is all the way up, meaning it's all white. Brightness says at 100, and texture is Fresno again with no changes, and mix strength is around 60 to 50 percent, somewhere around there. Environment is a light gray as well. Uh, brightness is at 100 percent. Texture is Fresno, no change. Mix strength is Fresno, and mix mode is multiply. And then skip all this. Specular is actually the default settings specular color is a black with a brightness of a hundred percent and no texture and then a final glow where the color is run a slightly lighter than half half gray somewhere around there brightness is at fifty percent inner strength is at fifty percent outer strength is at zero radius ten and the rest is at um default also make sure that material color is checked off that way you can change the color to the gray and that's basically it for this um if you have any more questions or requests for tutorials on programs like this or photoshop just send me a message or comments in below and also guys i want to hear your opinion on the new um layout of YouTube cuz I know that um it looks quite neat that's my opinion but uh if you use it on your mobile phone your smartphone it kinda lags out a little bit more than it used to so um anyway thanks for watching and see you later